What's going on, gamers? Um, I am a... And so, as such, on my stream, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to make Crunker run better. Uh, higher FPS, make it run smoother, that sort of thing. So, we're going to put together a video um, with a couple steps on how to do that. And we're going to go in order from, like, most useful to least useful. But all these steps are really going to help you guys out. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first up, most of you guys are probably playing Crunker on the browser, I'm assuming, if you're looking for this video. And uh, the problem with playing on the browser is there's a lot of input lag. So like this feels very not smooth to me. And if we turn on our FPS counter, we, if we go to the uh, search bar and hit FPS, it's going to be pretty much locked at 60 FPS, as we can see. And that's just the limitation of the browser. So the first thing we're going to want to do Let's go to the main menu, hit escape and go to the main menu and click on this button right here. It's going to is going to install what's called the Crunker client for you guys. And uh, so simply click the operating system that you use. For me, it's Windows and I already have it installed, so I'm not going to click on it. But just go through the normal steps of installing the client. And that's going to be a huge increase to your FPS. So now that you've downloaded the client and installed it, you're just gonna you're just gonna open it up, and immediately you should notice a difference in your FPS, even in the menu. So if you remember on the on the web browser, we were sitting at around 60 FPS. We're now at around 400, getting up to like 450 FPS. So immediately a huge difference. And a quick side note here: if you're noticing that this client looks a little bit different than yours, that's because it's the MTZ client. Um, if you want to know the advantages of using the MTZ client over the regular client, I can make a video about that if you would like to see that. Um, but all these settings should be the same. So you want to get, you're going to want to open settings for the normal client. It'll be over on the left hand side. Click the gear icon says settings, and default region uh, that should automatically be set to your your closest region, the one that will give you the best ping. So leave that alone. Set it to obviously whatever language you want to use. Resolution is a setting that I wouldn't touch unless it was my last resort. Um, so if none of these other things help you, you might consider changing your resolution to maybe maybe 0.7 or 0.8. But uh, if you go far below 0.7, it starts to look really bad. So like I said, do that as a last resort, but it is an option. Um, FPS throttling leave this on zero this is basically uh a frame limiter you don't want you don't want to limit your frames in this game even if you only have a 60 hertz monitor you want to have as many frames as possible and i'll explain that here in a little bit when i'm done with uh, these settings so aspect ratio this is where you would put in a stretch resolution if you're that kind of if you're that kind of gamer i am not i like to play on native because i feel like it screws with my aim when i play on stretch res that might just be me Low spec, I don't see too much of a difference when I turn this on and off, so I leave it off. But if you have a an, maybe an older computer or a computer that has you know um, more budget parts in it, um, you might want to turn that on. It might help. It might not. That's something you just got to play with and see what helps. Uh, these two settings will definitely help you, everyone, if you turn them off. Particles, uh, turn that off. That's basically like when you hit the dirt or something it might it might show some part some dirt particles flying up that's just going to lower your fps shadows are very cpu intensive to render so turn off shadows ambient shading if you can see when i turn ambient shading off underneath these ledges oh my god wow. thanks Parker. thanks for that when you turn ambient shading off it just looks really plain and I like to keep it on, but it will probably help your FPS quite a bit if you were to turn that off. So I leave it on because I like the way it looks. Bullet trails. This is going to be the trail of the bullet that actually comes out of your gun. So let me show you. So when you shoot, see that trail? That, that won't show up if you turn that off. Let me show you. Turn it off. You can't see where bullets are coming from. And that's for you and enemies. 
So I like to leave it on so that you can see where you're getting shot from. Muzzle flash. This is another thing. There's not really a muzzle flash from your own gun. So maybe you want, may, might want to turn it on for enemies. I just have had it off this whole time and I'm just used to it now. Once again, it might help your FPS to leave it off. Sniper flap. This is mainly a cosmetic thing. This really isn't going to hurt your FPS. Some people prefer it and some people hate it. <laughs> That's just this flap on the back side of my sniper scope. Um, I just like, I like the way it looks. I like the dynamic of having it move around while I'm playing. So I leave it on. And uh, other than that, this, the rest of this is really just preference based. It's not really going to help your FPS, most of this stuff. You might get very slight changes, like an extra he FPS here or there, but uh, it's, it's really not going to make a huge difference like these settings will. So now we're going to move on to NVIDIA control panel. Hey, so while I was editing this, I realized that I completely forgot to tell you guys why FPS is so important, like I said I was going to. So, um, the main thing is when it comes to something called slide hopping. If you guys don't know what slide hopping is, it's what I'm doing right now. And if you've ever been in a game where someone is just flying around the map at a ridiculous speed, it's more than likely because they're, they're slide hopping. And uh, slide hopping is a pretty easy technique to learn and it's very hard to master. Um, especially while you're trying to go around and shoot people. But all you need to know for the purposes of this video is that it's very dependent upon your FPS. Your ability to slide hop is very dependent upon how high your frames per second is. Um, so that's why it's so important. I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, you can get back to the settings now. So this next section is only going to apply to you if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. And so if you do have an NVIDIA graphics card, simply right click on your desktop and find NVIDIA control panel right here and click on it to open it up. And once it opens up, you'll, you'll, you're going to want to go to manage 3D settings over here on the side. Okay. Second option down and then go on, go over to program settings. Now you're going to want to open this drop down menu and look for Krunker. And for me, Krunker wasn't in here. Uh, and I don't know why that is, but it's really easy to fix. You just hit add and you go and find, you know, your game it should show up in this list if it doesn't show up in this list leave a comment and i will do my best to help you i'll reply to every comment and try and help you guys out but it should show up in this list so click on crunker and hit add selected program so now we are editing the program settings for crunker itself and there's some important settings that you're going to want to change most of these beginning ones you're going to want to leave the same way the same on the same settings as your global settings but that when you get down here towards power management mode, make sure this is on prefer, prefer maximum performance, preferred refresh rate. This is only going to apply if you have a monitor over 60 Hertz, select highest available. Threaded optimization. This is really going to apply if you have um, a CPU with hyper threading enabled, like most AMD CPUs. So click, click on for that to make sure it utilizes hyper threading. Vertical sync, turn that off. Vertical sync is always a bad thing. <laughs> Almost always a bad thing. And uh, once you've done all this, this should help your game immensely. I know people that just this setting right here, preferred refresh rate, has changed their game from being stuck at 60 hertz to the refresh rate of their monitor. So if you have a, a monitor nice. that's 144 hertz, make sure this is applied or the game might not run at six at uh 144 hertz and then lastly of course you want to come down and make sure you click apply take a second and then once the apply button is gone everything has been applied and you're ready to go okay so lastly this is something that a lot of people miss um you're going to want to go down to your windows search bar down here if you're on windows 10 and type in game mode and go to click on game mode settings. So what, what Windows has done, trying to be helpful, is implemented something called game mode. And it's supposed to make your games run better, but it's been broken ever since it came out. So straight up, just turn it off. Make sure it's on off. Then go over here to game bar. Make sure that is on off. Game bar is gonna, is gonna automatically record what it thinks are good plays. 
it never gets it right and that just takes up a lot of your computer's power to record those in the background so you just want to make sure that's off as well yeah so just make sure game mode and game bar are both off and those are going to be huge for your fps so yeah that's pretty much it um now you should be getting a lot better fps in your game and if you do i want you to let, let me know either in the comments or you can come check me out at twitch.tv slash moppy um i can't afford i can't i can't afford a graphic designer so this is the best you guys get for now um so come check me out let me know let me know what kind of fps you guys are getting now if you went from 60 fps if you went from 60 fps to 500 that's awesome. I want you to come let me know that you that you gained 440 frames. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the comments and in my stream. And until next time, uh, I am gay.